Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Bragg from Braggio. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with you, Ben. How was my week in Yu-Gi-Oh? How was it? What happened on Tuesday? Why does that not exist in my brain? Um, Remember you didn't do well. No, I think I still went X1. It was just a very forgettable night, apparently. Um, yeah, so went poorly apparently. Didn't win. I think I took an early loss, so I just like ignored the rest of the night. Um, yeah, so that was my Monday night. I uh, know oh, Tuesday night. I remember kind of where my week kind of developed to now. Um, so probably the biggest takeaway from my week is that I've started to work in the Nemesis part in my deck. So I'm playing yeah. a Shaltus. There are situations where that card has come up and it's come up huge. And with the amount of Dragon Link players that float around at our locals from time to time, <laughs> I'm probably going to like keep it in there. If not, maybe focus on it a little bit more. Um, if there was a way for me to consistently generate it, that'd be great. Um, also, if there was a way for me to be able to just do fiends every time, <laughs> that'd be great. Um <laughs> Like, I think if I tool my extra deck a little bit more... <laughs> like, I think if I tool my extra deck a bit more, I should be able to make the deck run a whole lot better on that engine. So um, what you're effectively trying to do is turn your uh, Rescue Ace uh, Diablo Star deck yes. into a fire-themed Sword Soul pre-Other uh, Dude Band. Yes. Okay. Well, instead well, of the instead of the Baron, you have eight fire traps. Protoss got me a regional top by itself, so like, if I can go back to playing that, I'll take. I'll take just Protoss Call Dark, for an entire tournament, and win. That was the best. I miss Protoss. My package is on the way. Your anyway. package is on the way. Yeah. Of Jake's um, package is on the way. Yeah. If that arrives before my little night, <laughs> well, has your little night well, even been shipped yet? Yes. Okay. Disclaimer to last week's episode: it was shipped like immediately after, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. Still not good enough. Well, that was the major developments from our week in Yu-Gi-Oh. I didn't win either locals. I think I went X one both times. But a Shaltos, I'm liking it. Auto win button. Yeah, it do be a floodgate. Yeah, I just need a fiend that I can generate it against Jake. <laughs> it's it's also coming up that like the card just helps me play around Imperm because I can like I summon the my I can summon my big guy. Tob gets Imperm, then I'm like, ah, oh, summon a Shaltos, call Dragon, I win. I will set four traps next turn. Yeah. <laughs> when your main oh, when no. your main deck engine is a Imperm bait. Yeah. <laughs> for <laughs> for the turn skip. Haha, <laughs> you've impermed me. <laughs> that would normally hurt, turn skip. Jesus Christ. Um, what was I going to say? Um, you also opened some rarity collection? I did open some rarity collection. It was mid. On his channel. Yeah. Good commentary. Um, yeah, I pulled Ice Barrier ulti. If anyone wants it. No, no, it wasn't a QCR? It was, no, it was just an ulti. It was an ulti? I thought yeah. you pulled the QCR of it. No, nah, it's just an ulti. <laughs> I love it. If anyone wants it, and you I don't love... live too far away... <laughs> Comment your home address and I'll send it to you. If anyone's ballsy <laughs> enough to do that, I'll post it. I do love the moment you pull it in stream. You're just like, ooh, there's something... Oh, moving on. <laughs> if you're ballsy enough to post your home address, you'll get an ulti ice barrier. <laughs> Neck minute is flooded with PO box addresses. <laughs> no, yeah, we won't accept the PO boxes. No PO boxes. Home addresses only. We will vet. On Google Maps, so you can't send it to your uh, your business place either. I will yeah. also I address it to access. your username. So, like, if your username is Weeby as fuck, it's getting addressed to that. Yeah, I've had a few oh, username. True. I've had a few username packages show up at work. No, we'll be able to confirm powerful, that your address through uh, tools that I have for work. So, only yeah. correct addresses. Um, he knows where you live. I do. And you've been playing some Master Duel. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing some thing. A lot of Master Duel. Well, which I is had... weird, because you already have the mate. Yeah, but I had to get the level 100, which I got there this morning. So, I'm done with that now. Um, also, I kind of want to make sure that I stay in Diamond, because when I get full Rescue Ace, I don't want to drop to Gold. 
Oh, yeah, true. And so, then I have to wade through the shit. Yeah, I want to make sure that when Rescue Ace comes out, I can play properly Rescue Ace online. Although God knows I'm still going to play that by that point. Eh. Who knows? And also, because it's doing so well in the ACG, you know full well, like, Emergency it's, it's will come gonna in come one. In, yeah, it's going to come in <laughs> hit. But they put in... They put in a... Uh, Pearly at full power. They did, which is really weird, but we'll get onto that in a second. That's so good. Frag, how was your week? Oh, I was just thinking about us playing Master Jewel. Yesterday, like, yesterday's weather was must have been so good that all three of us were here on the couch playing our own Master Jewels. We <laughs> yeah. hadn't even mentioned it previous. <laughs> no, we all just kind of at some point wandered in. I had the NBA on TV, and we all just wandered in, sat down, played so, Master Jewel. I, we're done with it. Which I, yeah, which I don't know what's going on with that. Like, is there some subliminal just messaging? Rainy, for... rainy days are for Master Duel. Yeah. We're all... Friday we're... night is for magic. <laughs> rainy days are for Master Duel. Friday night and then Saturday morning. Yeah. If that was a game of Yu-Gi-Oh, though, I would have wanted to die. We played like a four-hour game of magic. Three hours. Three, yeah. three and a, a bit. very long game. Yeah. If five players is too much for any Five game. players with starter decks. Yeah, with pre-cons. Except yeah, was... for one of us. It was really shit. Yeah, it's. I don't think I would ever want to see Yu Gi Oh do that. The worst part was, like, I didn't even really win. Like, everyone just kind of gave up. <laughs> it all just kind of falls. We, well, we just all ran out of stuff to do. It was. Yeah, and I was just like, sad. I'm just sitting here gaining life for three hours. <laughs> like, I oh, yeah, gained some life. Yeah, if we left you alone, which I had a lot of part in not leaving you alone. Um, we would have just won off the fucking um, yeah, Bilbo effect. We've already spoken too much about magic. We really have. Um, yeah, what else? Because there's a Look, good games logo on the chair, on the table. My pearly games are very much like that. Of I'm just going to sit here and wait for my win con to show up. I'm just going to keep looping, and that's been my master jewel pearlies. And I finally got um, the other ones built cash. There's so now my games are faster and easier. <laughs> I just heard Seb open his drink, and I thought it was a can of something. I was like, what the fuck is he doing over there? drinking my centauri so that was that that would look oh i forgot to pull my our centauri uh otherwise yeah crack the box on our youtube yeah yes. go and like it please give it if you can give it an average of one minute like a watch oh, real pump oh up just put it on in the background while you're taking a shower that'd be much appreciated or don't, I don't know. whatever it's kind of average but the packs were interesting finally he's getting to see some of the cards IRL and yeah the ultis were exactly what we imagined I don't know people hate on them I think in the right cards they look good he's a oh yeah yeah um, there's definitely going to be cards that I liked it on like the Eldritch was good you liked it on the Lord but yeah. was that OG Lord or was that Sassy Lord okay. yeah on the OG Lord I think it looks better than Sassy Lord yeah so I, I, I don't know if that's because it doesn't look good on Sassy Lord or just because it looks better the on the other rarities Come than Sassy Lord yeah I only saw I've only seen one Sassy Lord so I can't really comment on how good the Sassy Lord I think and it was a super you ordered um, PCR Sassies didn't you I certainly did they were $15 each enjoy the ASMR of um, him pouring that can there <laughs> it's boring <laughs> We're really crossing all kinds of content um, thresholds today. We've talked about magic, yeah, we're doing yeah. ASMR. We just need to get some fucking, I don't know, get ready with me shots of someone getting dressed or something. There's a million possibilities that I'm not going to say out loud. <laughs> uh, otherwise... If you were listening, I told you I was going to come back with the Millennium Item Cup. They are good. They are good. Uh, don't have the little night, so I skip the one locals I was going to be able to attend and even then I don't think anyone else showed up might even go upstairs yeah uh then Master Jewel switch to cash yeah pretty quiet week otherwise pretty quiet week hmm. and that's good how are you hmm. um yeah so my week has been I would say more or less blessed I've had a quite good week of Yu-Gi-Oh yeah the big man upstairs um yeah Greg on <laughs> um so yeah i versed ben on tuesday i think we were second yeah so i think i versed uh trap tricks first trap tricks was easy i uh, completely first... had put that out of my brain that we played yeah i know and i'm bringing it up no uh, like <laughs> i don't remember that locals existing and now more things are coming back in my brain from that locals. You're like oh god no, i'm um, just like oh that's how that locals went <laughs> Um, yeah, so I versed Ben in round two. Feels like um, it was three weeks ago. I won the die roll against you, which I haven't done in ages. So I actually yeah. got to set up our board 
Yeah, I, I also didn't open hand board. traps. Yeah, you didn't do those. I was, I was thinking for sure you had a nib because there was like no interaction before I got to like the summit of the second level six, and then you're like thinking. No, it's fine. I was like, yes. <laughs> So I got to play. I won that game. Um, SP Little Knight in fucking Unchained is so good. Yeah, I forgot that was a card. You did forget that was a card. Yeah. For some reason, I just assumed that you kept staying feedlocked. No. Hence why I was like, mm, this is an issue for me. No. Nope. Like, what's he going to do? Summon another fiend? No. Um, so maybe I should put a uh, put start playing the quick play spell card. Stops cards on field being used as materials. Oh, Spellbound? Yeah, maybe I should start playing Spellbound. Just to be like... Yeah? I, I think mean, the one printing was, hasn't it? Or no, I got the tin as well. It got a tin as well. Yeah. Besides the secrets are like maybe $2. Um, so they're just better cards I could be playing. Oh yeah. Way. Like Imperm also sorts that problem out. Infinitely. Uh, Good so what you did there. It wasn't on there. purpose, but yeah. Um, and then, yeah, game two, you went first, went off, um, and then I had the Nibiru, and I also had evenly after the Nibiru, so the plan was just to crash into the token and then get rid of all the back row. Okay. You said you could have kept playing, but you were, like, just annoyed and stopped. <laughs> well, yeah, I could have. <laughs> I, I could have. recording, mate. <laughs> I, you can SP away the... The turbulence. And then the token becomes real small. I don't think you went to the SP. Yep, right? I didn't oh, need have did? the SP on board. You hit me at end of main phase when I'd set up literally everything. Okay. I could have SP'd away the turbulence, the token becomes really small. Summon the turb back in defense position. But anyway, yeah, for whatever reason you just gave up. I was pretty <laughs> like done, yeah. Fair enough. Um, and then one of my other two games, which were both Dragon Link. Um, and then, yeah, so I won that locals. And then today, I forgot that I'd brought my bag into my house and forgot to put it back in my car. So I rocked up to locals with no deck. Yeah. Um, thankfully, Kurt from our locals, who you've seen in this chair before, uh, was kind enough to lend me his two element, Horus. Um, and then I won today as well. Hey! <laughs> okay, so how was that? How was that? I don't particularly like his list. I did tell him this. I do apologise. Um, it just needs a little bit of a tweak and I think it'd be alright. He does that and then it works for him and then no one else. Knows. I want to kind of build like just a fucking 60 card pile of that shit. Yeah. Just well, to... the opportunity's coming up in the upcoming Banley's Tourney because no one's hit the Horus cards yet and Grass is there. Eh. Let's do it in real life. Yeah. So, far. so you can play like the other shit. You can play uh, what are the cards called? You, you know the cards. You can play Punk. Yes. Get your free eight. You can go. Go on, Benny. Other things. Vampire. Right? Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, the vampire. Yeah, true. I mean, yeah, yeah you do the vampire and the other thing that's yeah. banned. Yeah. I mean, I hope All that the does get unbanned because I bought. I had a copy, bought a copy, then forgot I bought the copy and bought a third copy and then it got banned. <laughs> Is Beatrice a hard one to turn? Yes. Card oh, of safe actually, return. Is it? I don't know if it is. Because I thought she was just before they started putting the hard ones to turn on everything. Maybe. I did get Kurt the other day when I was a... like, oh, you should play card of safe return in your horror deck. And he was like, yes! <laughs> 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 and then I draw three cards per summon. From um, and then Master Duel, uh, the Duelist Cup finished, I think, Monday. Um, obviously I didn't top because we did so many things that weekend that I just didn't have time to actually sink anything into it. Um, mm. But I did get it about 12,000 points, which put me at a rank where I could actually see my rank. Oh, cool. What was the rank? Uh, I think it was like 12,000th. No, hundred. No, 112,000th. Ah. Because you can only see it from... I say you two, take 12,000th. 200,000 <laughs> yeah. and above can see where they are. I wonder what percentage of players that is. How many people play in this game? I think we're at 5 million installs. Yeah, maybe, installs. Maybe though. 50 million installs. Yeah, I don't care about installs. I want to know the active players. Sure, it's it should be at a mill, right? Yeah. There's heaps of us lurking in every corner of the globe. Some of us playing disgusting fucking Makunko decks. <laughs> oh, he's playing right now. Wait, what are you playing? Dynamis Solid Mode. Oh, with, okay. With all the people playing like Kaiju Makunko, is it worth playing an FTK? Yeah. 
Go back to what you know, Ben. I got nurse burn FTK this morning. Yeah, that's not fun. The amount of times where I've just been fucked over by like a random trap or something like that, I have thought to myself I should just put red reboot back in. Mm. Oh. Playing the self FTK decks in rank yeah. is weird. Yeah. Because like, you build up points on the uh, battle pass. You do. Right. Yeah. If you're if you're losing without scooping, you rack up points on the battle pass. Yeah. And also they might disconnect before then you can advance a rank. So you may as well. Like I think I've I think I've thrown against uh, a bot before. I'm like I, I don't have the time for this. Now. <laughs> you get the victory. Guess what? There's some pearly matches where I'll just stop. Like I could very much like try and break the ball, but I just go. I can't be bothered watching you do all this bullshit. Thank you. And then have to try and push through. Because I just it's so and then easy. Sometimes to... I imperm the pearl lily and they scoop. So <laughs> you kind of just wait for them to misclick. Just so many times. Muscle was in a weird place. And it's only going to get weirder due to uh, the upcoming news, which we'll discuss now. So they've brought in a ban list. Uh, as before, they banned, uh, unbanned rather, <laughs> the little bird fiend thing. Uh, Yadagarasu. Jenny Sally and Birdman. Um, Yadagarasu. And they also unbanned Ptolemyus. So that uh, their upcoming, or no, the now released Talonite support would actually do stuff. Um, but they've added Don't to skip. that. Uh, they've banned a pointer of the Lotus due to the fact that everyone was using it as like the card to set off thrust going first. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Look at your opponent's hand. Uh, limited, and it's not surprising, but it's still kind of bad. Pot of extra. Yeah, I guess too many, too much card advantage getting around. Yeah, people need to do less. Uh, and then no longer limited, we have Fractile and Ben Ten. I just the fact they keep bringing up Ben Ten for more points. I'm just like, just why are we not just leaving Scott at one? Yeah, I Scott could... deserve to be at one. It really doesn't need to be at any more than one. Like it gets looped so much. Yeah, now they don't have to. Now they can just go Ben Ten, search Ben Ten. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's instead of letting it go wild, just like off some dumb new stuff later. Just leave it at one. It's it deserves to be at one. We all know Ben Ten, and we move. Yeah, and let the people that have their royal rares just ha let. Let them have their just one. Well, they get more points back for crafting the royal rare, so. Do you? Yeah, but you don't. Yeah. But recraft. 30. Yeah. Okay. If they log on in time. Well, not 30. They don't get. You don't get 30 for decrafting. You get 10 for a normal, 15 for a. You glossy. get 30 on a ban list. Do you? Yes. In a, in a, in a period of time. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, but then we have some new packs. We've got Fires of Scorching Bonds, which has the new uh, Liberomancer stuff. Oh, I say new, it's super old for us. doesn't even have the new Rescue Ace. No, no it doesn't. It's got Fires in its name and everything. Wait, Ben 10 back and the Liberomancer stuff, they're, they're in, that's why the Ben 10's back. Paul go nuts. Sure? Yeah. Um, yeah. We've also got Treasures of the Cosmic Ocean, uh, which brings in uh, some random water support, including Ice Jade, Goaty, um, and some other stuff. Um, and we got a new solo mode as well. Uh, this one being Bujin. Bujin. That's why they were promoting Bujins on the stream oh, today. Oh, yeah, we yeah. want Which means we'll probably get a hat format thing soon. I just <laughs> want to say, who the fuck were those YouTubers that they had on stream playing with Team APS? They've been... <laughs> I, I don't know if they're choosing just random people, but... Well, one of them, the... Um, and, Oh, they were both American. Um, one of them was featured on a Farfa Master Duel thing a little while ago. He had like a Friday night thing that he was doing, and it was I like get it. him, Team Six M, and another two YouTubers of some sort or streamers. Um, it's just them trying to bring people in, but I feel like they probably like as much as they'd like to chase like the Valkyries and the Sykunos again, like they did for the Invitational a little while back. Yeah. I just don't think they can afford them. Like I, I am assuming that these are just popular streamers who are like, oh yeah, I watched the anime when I was little. Fuck it, I'll play some Master Duel. And get paid for it. Yeah, yeah, they probably then get paid for it. But like, when like the guy's like, yeah, I'm the master of fucking Egyptian god decks. I was like, who are you? Can you just <laughs> fuck off? <laughs> like, sure, that's a gimmick you can rock. But you need to, you need to grind that out. Like, if we don't know you as that. Like, come on now. So I'm the master of Egyptian god jerks. Nah, I'm gonna play Bujins. <laughs> okay, buddy. Well, it was because the format that they 
picked for them was whatever it was, 2014. The other guy was like, yeah, I don't play meta cards. Christ. And this this segment was right after the cringe pearly guy as well. Yeah. If you're watching... Uh, the, the dude who like half stripped himself just to show his oh, teeth. Yeah, like a, just take your hoodie off, you fucking moron. Because you got really get, upset by that. You it's get cold. The, it's getting to winter. I was more offended by the meow, but not oh either. yeah, oh, he did. He oh, did meow. God. Yeah. yeah. Look, you can meow and stuff, but there's ways to play it. Like, and also this is kind of on the interviewer as well. Like those setups are just so iffy. Like, we talked about the coverage last week, and you can see they're trying stuff, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. They did diversify what they did sort of mid-games, like between games, I should say. It was. Um, but they need to try harder. And also, they haven't addressed the fact that their commentators are really boring to listen to. Yeah, I like, like Billy Billy's Break. Fine. Billy's fine. He I knows what he's talking about. Billy Break and Team APS, no, not Team APS, the other guy, and MSTTV on the same streams, actually not a bad commentary team. The other guys are fucking hopeless. Yeah, because M- MST can go to the play. Like, yeah, you need to you need to work out your commentary roles and stuff. Like, it's, it's, the two it's of them a together, science. great. I will take the two of them commentating, not over the Europeans, but over any other combination of American yeah, commentary. Honestly, team. like they, the thing about it being in America is like I'm sure they would love to get one of the European guys over, like one of the Germans, <laughs> but because it's American, they'd just be like, who's this best? <laughs> Um, what else was it? I forgot. They could get Farfar on. He's effectively Why a Konami now? employee. Yeah, L- literally. I'm like, now being replaced by a squad boot. Oh, that's why he's there, I see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. But Jerome being on a... When Jerome's on stream, fuck, he's boring. That's so boring. Jerome with the guy that does the player interviews is the worst it's not great that, it's as interesting as watching paint dry yeah and like conversely the london open was on at the same time like i get that it's not a big event like it is a big event but it's not the big event for them so they're not going to bring out like their a-grade people they were but, like literally was, just recycling assets and they're like it was poor do we splice in the audio no nah. no we can't afford the audio just have the really jarring graphics playing with no audio. Yeah. <laughs> it was not great. It, um, was, it was pretty painful. But, but yeah, what were we talking about? Uh, Bujin. Um, so, Bujin! <laughs> so yeah, there's a Bujin solo mode that's just been released. Uh, you get sleeves, you get an icon. Oh, there's two different icons. You can get the good guy and the evil guy. Um, I didn't even know that was part of the law. Yeah, see, there's a lot to learn about Bujin lore. And by learn, I mean it's very much a rehash story that they've probably told a thousand times. Um, so there's a bad type and there's a good type. Yeah, it's very much glossed over in like the context of who's what in that. But yeah, there are bad Bujins. Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. You see, in New Year, uh, normally the bad guys are the black colored cards. No, see, that's not always true. I said nine times out of ten. Yeah, see, like, if you look back on anime protagonists, a lot of them are the opposite type if they're not, like, that type at all. Like, Yugi had Dark Magician, who was a dark type, and then Kaiba, although not technically a bad guy, more so an anti-hero, had Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, yes. And then um, Playmaker, Deco Talker, who yes. was a dark type. Yes. Yeah. But Zork was just a giant black guy. Zork, Zork is the guy from Season 5, or uh, Season 1. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, we're anyway. Um, I'm so just we've saying, got... cards are typically racist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we've got some more assets as well that are available for purchase. We've got uh, Leela Treat, uh, which is cringe. Uh, we've got the new uh, Link 3 that is currently exclusive to Master Duel, the Promethean Princess. Um, they re-released the Ghost Trick Lantern Mate to buy from last Halloween. Yay! He's cool. He's a, he's a good little guy. I'd rather do the next card as a mate. Yeah, I, well, they didn't really do anything Halloween-y this year. Like, as last year they had at least, like, the Ghost Trick solo mode and all that kind of shit that you could at least tie it into, whereas now they're just like, hey, not enough of you bought it. Do it again. <laughs> Here it is. Um, what did I play Ghost Tricks locals? Oh, don't do that. Speaking from experience, don't do that. We need to do, like, a tier five locals. 
We do, but we've got the Banley's Tawny coming up. Speaking of which, have there been, has there been any substantial bans since the last time? We haven't done the update. I can't remember where we're up to. Well, I'll update next week. No, that's all right. I, I know where we're up to. I will jump in. Jake knows where we're up to. Um, so the main two uh, to consider, uh, a bunch of the Draco Slayers got unbanned following our discussions last week. I think Seb was responsible for that. No, I think oh, it was, no, I thought it was Jordan. Yeah, we worked that out. Um, but the next two, and I think the only two that have been banned since then, are Last Turn and Magical Scientist. Science be damned. Mm. Um, but going back to Master Duel, um, oh, no, quick plug. Um, so if you weren't aware, in December we're going to be doing a ban list tourney where you can pay to charity in order to update the ban list for us to play a oh, two different locals in Wollongong. Yes. Um, so the charity is Beyond Blue, a uh, really great cause. Uh, so please donate. Um, a bunch of the stuff that has been changed already can be found in our Discord as well as Ben's. It's all in the Discord. Yep, so jump all into down there. Below. The link to donate's in there as well. Um, so it's $10 to move a card any more than one space and $5 to move it one. Um, so cards that have been moved can't be moved back. Uh, so it's all going to be very fun. Except uh, for when Jake tried to ban a card that was already banned so then i allowed it to be moved yeah look it's not ideal but you have a free it, card movement on that i do yeah, yeah i've just got one in the bank ready to yeah. ready to go for anyone who tries to fuck with it's the decks good. i want to play um but yeah um if you are in the area as well or if you're planning to be in the area around december what are the dates again 17th and 19th yep uh those are the days we're going to be playing in uh so the actual close off for the bands is the 30th of november uh, with the tournament to happen a couple of weeks after from the sounds of things. Yes. Um, so yeah, if you happen to be in the area or you want to come down, we'd really love to see you there. Um, but yeah, it's going to be it's going to be fun. Two and a bit weeks of deck building and we're ready to go. Yeah. Well, now I'm like, ooh, do I want to play some kind of horror shenanigans? <laughs> kind of safe return with horrors. Absurd. It does seem kind of free. Just be like, boop, 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 boop. Uh, draw four. Cool. Kind of free. Into graceful, into pot of greed. Bonkers, bonkers <laughs> stuff going on. Um, but yeah, moving back to Master Duel, uh, we've got a couple of icons again. We've got Promethean Princess. They're really pushing this thing. Uh, Pump and King. Pump King, the King of Ghosts. That's want, kind of a cool one. I want that card as a mate. That would be cool. Maybe next Halloween. It's like tentacles go, woo. <laughs> I want it to make that noise as well. Um, Quick, it is, woo. <laughs> um, we've also got a uh, sort of spooky uh, icon surround. Is this stuff just existing now, or has it already expired in the shop? No, no, it's still there. Okay. It's still there. Until November 27th. <laughs> uh, this one's a uh, premium one as well, because I think it like has things that move around on it. I'd much rather just not. It's fine. It's there for people that want it. Um, and then we do get one uh, last pack, the selection pack, Record of Noble Spirits. Uh, so that's where the uh, Noble Princess is in, as a, well as the Satella Knights and a couple other random support cards that are just sort of chucking in there for funsies, really. Um, that new uh, B Trooper Fusion is in there as well, the level 5 one. It's honestly just a clusterfuck of stuff, hey. They've just chucked in anything that they felt didn't deserve a proper release. They've just gone... Get in the pack. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I appreciate when they do these sets, but normally they do these sets to delay the release of, like, the next bit of cards that they should have released already. I mean, yeah, that'll be coming up at the end so, of this month, I'm sure. For example, Kashira. They released the first wave of Kashira, and then they're like, and here's your new pack. Oh, there's no Kashira in here. No, no. This has just got a couple of little extra things. It's so weird, the packs that they decide. Like, yeah, have all of this immediately, go bonkers, have fun. And the other ones are just like, no, I'd like you to wait. The funniest thing that I've found about the release of packs is like stuff like the branded law, mm -hmm. where they'll do like, here's some branded cards. And despite the fact that branded cards release like periodically throughout the last three years yep. in Master Duel, like, here's some branded cards. A year later, they're like, here's a couple more. Yeah. Then a year later again, they're like, and some more. I think it was like two weeks ago they did another like, um, secret pack that was like just Despia cards and Dark Lords. That's when Nurseburn became fucking something I had to put up with today. <laughs> Nurseburn! <laughs> on you! Um, one other thing in Master Duel before we move Gift on to. Card. 
<laughs> also, so when I was playing it today, my opponent flipped a trap card that does the same thing as Nurse Burn does. Yeah. But um, it doesn't stack, it misses timing. <laughs> yeah, if you activate it at the wrong time, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Um, what's it called again? Um, oh, no, it's got uh, fucking spooky ghosts on it, though. Uh, it's pretty scary. I can't remember what it's called now. It's going to kill me. Doesn't matter. Anyway, yeah, no, it doesn't matter. It well, doesn't like, stack. Yeah. So, like, because the first bit of damage doesn't cause you to increase, the second one doesn't trigger. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, one last bit of news in Master Lord, and it's a bit of a weird one. Um, they updated the text on Gandora X to be more in line with the TCG's version, where it does it on its um, original attack as opposed to the attack it had. Um, is there a problem that you can see with that, Ben? Uh, the fact that, despite the fact that it said OCG heavily dominated thing. No. It's... No? It's the fact that it's banned. And? Like, you cannot even craft it. And? Why update the text of a card that's banned? It's not banned. But they haven't. But they can. But they haven't. It might. But they won't. It's perfectly legal here. In the TCG. Yeah, because it's three. fucking trash. <laughs> yeah, because you had to, like, full-blown adapt the way... I eventually got that FTK working, and I was like, fuck, this is not worth it. This See? Is, this is not worth it. See? Not worth it. I mean, if you can get a bot to do it for you in Marcedal, maybe. Nah, it's it's way too... It becomes way too complicated with FTK when you have Gandora have its TCG text instead of its OCG text. No, I reckon some weirdo will fucking it's do it. It's real fucked. Not this weirdo, though. Um, moving on to some news. Uh, so yeah, as we alluded to before, the uh, London Open uh, just finished, and that was won by D Link. Yeah, it was also not a particularly great stream, but again, they were streaming for a lower tier event, as far as I can work out. Which is really weird because our YCSs it's... can't get a stream, but their fucking their mega regionals get a stream. Yeah, it's so bad. Their nine round mega regional with the same player base, probably. Yep, streamed from an abandoned fucking museum or some shit. Brewery. Like, that's the one. Yeah. We should host an Australia Open. The Cowboy for Game Australia Open. I'm sure with a little bit of help, we could easily have the same amount of prize support as they did at the UK <laughs> Open. <laughs> could probably have a similar quality stream as well. Yep. Yes, we can. Can, <laughs> can we try and make a graphic for like the rounds changing... That's just as jarring with no audio. Yes. <laughs> we'll just have. Bruh, we'll just... <laughs> you've just reminded me. When I woke up this morning and put it on, there was a, a time when like that change of like round graphic went for like thirty seconds because mm. it very clearly stuffed up on the render, and then they realized they clicked the wrong thing, and then we're like, and then we'll click the right one. We'll do it again. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it's at that exact moment. I was like, I'm out. I'm out. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not coming back to this stream. <laughs> I can't Pick away. watch any more of this. Um, but yeah, that's on at the moment. Uh, well, actually, no. That one's finished. Uh, the I can't remember where the American one is. But there's an American YCS. It's in Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, Richmond Virginia. West um, Virginia! <laughs> so that'll start up again in a few hours. Mount Mama! The stream was dominated by Rescue Ace. Take me home. There was a lot of it. Rescue Ace... <laughs> Psh. Rescue Ace! <laughs> Take my hope! <laughs> continue. Um, West Virginia! <laughs> oh yeah, continue. Let me just shout over you anyway. Um, yeah, dominated by Rescue Ace. Like, they just want to feature it at any opportunity. So one of two things is happening. They can abandon it. They, well, yeah, that. They, they just want it to, like, show up as much as they can. Airlift is coming to one. <laughs> Probably. And then the other thing is, too, it could have just been so heavily represented that they had no other choice. <laughs> just everyone running Rescue Ace. Which is insane to think about, because unless they bought it early like you did from looking at, like, future OCG stuff and being like, oh, yeah, this would be good. It means that they spent so much money on that deck. I didn't look at future um, OCG matters. I went, <laughs> firemen. <laughs> Yay. Firemen. Go, Fire. Fire. <laughs> I mean, that's how I end up with most of my decks, to be honest, because I rarely look at what's going on in the OCG. I'm just like, that's a cool archetype. I like that. I, I still it. think you put more thought into it than me going, <laughs> fire. <laughs> I mean... Fire no? use water. 
Yeah, it should be a border archetype. That's still triggering. No. Me. There'd be so much... I mean, they're, they're releasing a whole bunch of fire shit to help it now. Year but like, of the fire. It is year of the fire. Um, fire did you, hot. Did you, end up, did you end up watching the um, Fire King vs. Rescue Ace match? The OCG one? Um, yeah. Yes. How did it go? Re- Fire King's one, and I was like... Hmm. I mean, I okay. feel like their spell that does quick exes and just blows up the board would be... No, that wasn't it. No? They seemingly just, like, forced the Rescue Ace board away. Uh, they called by the grave a hydrant. Oh. That, like, just ended the game. I was mm. like, oh, that's brutal. Like, literally, the, re- the called by the grave is what won the match. And it's yeah. best of one. So oh, it's like, shit, it's it like is too. Called by the grave hydrant game. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, okay, fuck. Yeah, best of one YCS is not great. Yeah. Because, like, Rescue Ace player had the full set back row. And then was just like, uh... Yeah, so he had full back row, but didn't have anything on board. And he went, uh... Oh, so, no, it was on Preventer. Because it was emergency summon Preventer, pop Preventer to summon the banished, uh... To summon the banished hydra. And he's like, called by the grave on Preventer. Game over. Fuck. Gone. Yeah, that's like, rough. Yep, you scoop. You scoop on that. Damn. Sucks to suck. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, so moving on to the physical card game. Physical? Um, yeah, well, not that we haven't been talking about it anyway. Um, no new cards because no new cards are being released currently. We'll probably get some new stuff from, I don't know. Something whatever. that's not a fire set because the year of fire is over. Is it? I don't know if it is. It's over for the OCG, probably. Maybe. No, because Diablo Stars still getting support. They got that new snack a couple yeah, weeks ago. There's dark Diablo Stars. Yeah, like and Diablo a lot Star, of it, and which is of, dark. Yeah, and a lot of their support does mention Diablo Star monsters, so eventually there will be some other monster that relates to the archetype. I learned today it's a dark. <laughs> <laughs> was it relevant? Yeah, because it got hit with a with a bestial. Oh. I was like, oh, this stops me from getting a draw. That's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, we do have a small announcement. Um, a little while ago, obviously, all the Infernoid support got announced. Um, new Inferno card? Well, not a new Inferno co- card per se. Um, it's a new Klee card. No, no, not those, even though that was the one that was referenced in the tweet. Still waiting on that, by the way. Um, it's not coming. What this is, is you might remember in the original press release that they were releasing alternate arts for these archetypes as well. So we have our first alternate art from the dual uh, terminal world support. Is it feast? Is it imagination? It is imagination. Oh, what's it's it got? Like? What looks like the new fusion? I think breaking through That's some shit. glass. Yeah, it's not great. I don't think it's any better than. Or, like, That's the, terrible. In fairness, the normal one is a fucking mess. Like that is. I like that. I hate that. One I, picture brings me joy. I don't know what this is. The other does not bring me joy. I mean, I don't know if it brings you joy. I just think it brings you more joy than this thing. Yes. Neither are great, but if like, I ask I you prefer... to draw imagination, you draw that. I would. <laughs> I'm not wrong. How... You realize we're not arguing, right? Yeah, like, no. we are agreeing, but you're being aggressive about it, and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm just saying, if I was to draw, tell you to draw your imag, or just draw imagination, the concept of imagination. You draw that picture. No, to be honest, if I were to draw imagination, I'd draw what looks like SpongeBob in a rainbow. <laughs> That's what I'd end up drawing. Maybe. But this. But your second this option be pi- that. But this isn't Pictionary. This is Yu-Gi-Oh. You draw a couple um, circles, a line in the middle. So imagination. We get uh, alt arts of the ice barriers and the Gen X as well. So what are our thoughts on what their alt arts will be? Like my money's on Trish. To get an alt art, I don't want it to, but I feel like they will. Gen X controller will be a Mermel gun. Well, it already is a Mermel gun. It's just no, but the art's just gonna be a Mermel. Oh, it's just gonna turn into Mermel. <laughs> I just have yeah. this image now of <laughs> Gen X. What was it? Gen X controller. Gen X controller is just Megalu. <laughs> no, no, I had this picture of it being like the pose from the Little Mermaid, where she's up on the rocks, just being like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Where they walk. <laughs> I'm impressed that you knew a song from Little Mermaid. Who doesn't? Me. Really? I would not know a single fucking thing in that movie. 
Wow. I don't even know what the middle of that movie is. Um, she gets legs. Yeah, 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 but like, does that then immediately go into the third act, or is there like a middle part? I mean, yeah, she does the courtship thing, they try and get together, and um, Ursula keeps mucking up with it. Oh, okay, so, okay, cool. All I know is she can't talk, so it's like, she goes to dry land, gets legs, goes to the thing, they sing the song about how uh, he can get rapey when they're in the creek. <laughs> That's how the song goes. Uh, and then they get married at the end. Happy ever after. No, well, they don't get married. They don't get this, married. This is when the Ursula um, thing comes in. Um, for the sake of me not having to explain this off stream, I'm just going to, uh, off camera, I'm going to explain this now. Ursula takes Ariel's voice and yeah, uses yeah, yeah. it to hypnotize Prince Eric. She comes on to land in human form. Ah, uh, so he fucks and, Ursula. Yeah, yeah. So she, um, okay. I don't know what the female equivalent of cockblock is. Comment that down below. <laughs> <laughs> we move. <laughs> no more talking about mermaid law. <laughs> um... So, a little while back, you might remember we spoke about um, the English release for Japan for cards, and part of that was um, structured decks, mainly uh, Dark Magician and Blue Eyes. Um, so, we've got the full list. Um, so fucking shit. <laughs> it's not great. I thought there might at least be like one or two new cards of support in here. No, instead no, they're it's like very much rehash. But here's literally the worst shit we can give you. But but there's a bonus pack where you get the chance of getting the better things. Yeah, but in fairness, in the Dark Magician one at least, from the bits that I have seen of it, they've given them some decent cards. Like they at least they gave them even, souls. They didn't even need to put Eternal. Fucking. No, they didn't even put Alternative in the Blue Eyes one. Oh, did they not? It's in the support pack. It's not in the deck. Oh my god, that's so piss poor. It doesn't do anything without an alternative. Oh, that's piss poor. That's so bad. Um, but yeah, like, it's good in parts, but yeah, not great. It's not ideal when you have to buy bonus packs to make a workable deck, but welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh. That's kind uh, of I think you get a bonus pack inside the starter deck. Oh, uh, can you then buy bonus packs? I think the bonus pack includes, like, 5 of the 20. But you also get them in foil, which is where the value comes in OCG starter decks, where you can buy like multiple starter decks to try and get the foils of the ones that you actually want foil. Hmm. You know? Yeah. Okay. Instead of just giving everyone the cards, they're like, "What if we gotcha fire structure deck?" I mean, yeah. the best. That, that's probably the worst part about the OCG is like their structure decks can be pretty fucked. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem right. Like rush tool structure decks have like the legendary card in the box can be like from a pool oh you don't just get the same legendary in each box which makes sense because it's a one per thing yeah i get that but if you're going after like i think for me i needed mirage dragon from one of them like luckily i got mirage dragon on the first one but i bought three structure decks and i was like can hopefully mirage dragons in one of them <laughs> Um, but moving on, we uh, move into our Discord. If you want to wear a link for our Discord will be below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. We have to thank the person who put in Reddit that we... Yes, that we were Zinthonian. A good pod that guy. Yeah, uh, thanks to Zinthonian for giving us a shout-out. Uh, hopefully we get a few more people in. But yeah, much appreciated if you could uh, spread the word. Just mention it to your friends. Love some new listeners and some new questions. Uh, our first question this week comes to us from Arch. Um, it is a long question, so get comfortable. It's okay, is this the first question ever? No, I think he commented last week. He's a relatively new person Welcome to our back, question Arch. section, but yeah, love to see it. I'll take a long question. I got into this game at a way older age than most because of my son. I am 39, he is 14. Mm -hmm. We got into Yu-Gi-Oh! when he was 8. When we you got better have gotten good Dragon Duel prizing. Exploit those children. Well, I'll mention that in a second. Um, when we got into the game, we went to events that only did... Oh, only had two kids for Dragon Duels, so my son is the an, Take is the, the anomaly starting so young and hanging in until he was a teenager. My question is, what can Konami do to bring in more kids, or do they even really want to bring in children? Is this the is this game too hard for kids? Is it too expensive if you don't have dad that understands the economics and is willing to buy you the best meta? Uh, not going to brag, but my son is gifted and talented, probably an American thing, uh, and has always been 
top of his class and picked up the concept pretty easy, but most kids that come to locals can't understand the first line of text on a card and go X4 and never show up again. Yeah, that is that is a, a thing that happens in Dragon Duel. Yeah. Dragon Duel is a, a lot of just... The one kid is like, I understand how this game works, and every other kid at the table is like, I like dragons! <laughs> what if I hit two rocks together to try and make fire? It is Year of Fire. Is, is, was that you <laughs> in Dragon Duels? I make fire. No, it was... Uh, I set Giant Soldier of Stone. Oh, yeah, you have talked about this before. Activate um, uh, Wave Motion Cannon. You have eight turns, sir. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, back to the question of how they can bring in like a younger audience. I feel like that was where uh, Speed Duels could have come into it a lot. because it's it was a lot having of... an anime comes into it. That as well. Having like, an anime what... that accurately represents what the card game is. Yeah, well, that's realistically what brought us all in. But at the same time, like, A, they weren't playing, playing by any rule. What? So... Your son is 14. There hasn't been an anime on TV for him to watch. No, there hasn't. Because we've had six years of sevens. God, has it been that long? I, I think the, the we might have had Vrains for maybe a year or two of that. I think Vrains ended in 2018, maybe 2019. Yeah, they... It's been sevens ever since. Yeah, that's fucking trash, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, circling back to that. Um, so when we started... A, they weren't playing by any rules that we recognised, or at least not by the rules that they were supposed to be playing by. The so game when was we... also super fucking brain dead. Yeah, like, it was simplified enough that, like, you playing by the rules was neither here nor there. But, like, if you compare that to current thing, mm. like, A, there's no anime for them to watch, but even if you go back to Brains, it was at least comparable to what we did. But at the same time, like, that doesn't give you real-world experience for what the game actually is when you go there, because when we watched it, the cards on the screen were the only cards that we had. Yeah. Whereas you could turn up with your Code Talker deck that you were inspired to play when you say, saw Playmaker, or let's say Salamander, right? Because that's the go-to for most people in that era. Yeah. And then you end up versing fucking uh, Sword Soul or fucking Unchained or some other shit that you have no concept with. Um, but yeah, the threshold of knowledge is super high for Yu-Gi-Oh. I think Rush Duels should exist as a TCG form. So, something needs to exist there. Like, Speed Duels isn't cutting it, clearly. It's no not one, performing. No one gives the slightest fuck. No, it's literally just, oh, there's a good reprint in that particular set, yeah. I'll buy the singles. That's the limit of what we in the TCG care about, fucking Speed Duels. We do need a TCG release of Rush Duel. And that can be... Well, that, that is a much more simplified game that is designed for kids. Yeah. Whereas, uh, like, the modern full-blown Yu-Gi-Oh! is not designed for kids. No. It says 6 plus on the box. It isn't. Even, like, the way those cards are structured in, Jap in Japanese is, like, this is your cost. It clearly states, this yeah. is cost. This is your effect. Yeah. There's no having to interpret grammar. Something which 8-year-olds can't do if and when like what's a semicolon <laughs> well you see this is a semicolon i literally learnt. Oh, wait did i learn semicolons from Yu-Gi-Oh? maybe i don't think ptsd was a ptsd <laughs> I P mean... pre-sct i don't think psct had gotten to the point where semicolons were a thing but i do remember like distinctly when i became an adult and was like oh yeah this is this thing that i fucking learned the thing that I have literally never used is yeah. now a part of my life. I, that's the thing. In, like, structuring a sentence, I don't know where a semicolon I'd never functions. Know where to, I don't know what it does. I never know where to put it. But I'm like, it, it informs cost. <laughs> when I've seen people put it into their things, I'm like, what does it mean? Well, if you're using the sentence, pay $5 and I'll give you this, it's pay $5 <laughs> semicolon. Oh, yeah, pay $5 as a cost. And I'll give you this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it indicates cost. Oh um, my god. Um, but yeah, that's the biggest th threshold I think it is for like the younger generation is like you mentioned it a lot is cost. Hopefully like, things like the rarity collection that's just come out will help. True. That like a, a lot. whole bunch of staples have come out um, and there will be stuff you can pick up for cheap. But um, now that it's out, I've I've noticed the surprising like things that probably should have been in there that weren't. Where, like, I, I was talking to Harry today, and I was like, oh, you don't have Drolls yet? And he's like, it wasn't in Rarity Collection. I was like, oh, shit, it wasn't? 
Well, it wasn't all that long ago it got reprinted, right? It was in one of the... Yeah, it was like a rare sets. in something. But, yeah. like, there's a lot of cards in that set that only just got reprinted, like, a month or two ago. Mm, true. Because there's a few things that I pulled, I was like, oh, that's great, but we just got this. Like, the yeah. Megatins just reprinted everything. Yeah. And it's like, oh, here's another Ash reprint. I, th- I appreciate the Quarter Century Ash. I don't want it, but I appreciate that it exists for people. I mean... Now that it's getting lower, I would almost consider it. Because, like, within the 24 hours that the boxes were opened, it yeah. dropped from 500 to 300. OG Secret looks so much better. It does. The, but people will want it for the flex there's of a, having QCRs. There's a chart of my uh, my desire to purchase Quarter Century Res. Mm-hmm. And it's like, if the card came out in the last three years, Quarter Century better. If the card came out more than three years ago, pretty much since they changed to having the fucking the foil in the yep. stars and the attribute, if it came out post then, don't even fuck. I'll get the quarter century rare. If it came out before then, the old one is better. Yeah. Like I'm considering just not getting new Veilers because I'm like, I have old supers and they kind of look cool. It's just the fact that my old supers don't match. Oh. So I've got like US US Euro. If I had three matching old Veilers, I'd be like, no, nah, don't want the new ones. I'll yeah. just play my Order of Chaos Supers. That's not ideal. Um, but yeah, like some cards in there I can appreciate. Um, but back to the question. Um, so yeah. Oh, yeah. With the, Rarity Collection, ho- <laughs> with the Rarity Collection, hopefully it's addressed some issues with the cost of the game and in its current state. Um, no, but when, then... you, when you're playing Dragon Duels, cost is always resolved by your parents. <laughs> if they have to send for cost... They send for cost. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, threshold of knowledge is also a big one. Like, if your reading level is better than everybody else's, chances are you going to win. Do you reckon we're at the stage of Yu-Gi-Oh! now where people who played the game originally have had kids but stayed in love with the game for that entire duration of their childhood and have coached them to being good enough? They're just like, the moment that kid came out of the womb, they're like, okay, kid, in eight years, I need you to win Dragon Balls, please. I need that trip to Worlds. It's a pop-up book, pop-up book that um, clarifies what the damage step is. <laughs> yeah, these are the cards you can and can't activate in damage step. <laughs> oh, Christ. Um, I'm going to write that book. Um, but yeah, just quickly on uh, Ark's... Arch, yeah, Arch's um, son. He recently came eleventh in a tournament. Damn. Um, so yeah, he got eleventh out of a hundred uh, participants over Damn. at the Lubbock in Texas regional. Um, so oh, regional, not even Dragon Duels. Yeah, yeah, not Dragon Duels, an actual regionals. Got it better um, than Jake. It's not hard. <laughs> it's a very low bar I've set for people. Um, you used to be better, Jake. I did used to be better. You used to be a lot better. I just don't try anymore. Same. Like, I used to get onto fucking Dueling Book, the fucking Twitter of Yu-Gi-Oh, and, like, grind out decks and practice and shit. But now I just don't care nearly as much. Like, I still want to do well. It's just I refuse to put that much effort into it anymore. I've just realised that there's a massive correlation between how much effort I put into Yu-Gi-Oh and how fat I am. (laughs) Wait, skinny more effort or skinny less effort? Uh, when I was fat, Ben, I put a lot of effort into Yu-Gi-Oh. Ah, so skinny less effort. Yeah. So when you're like, I don't need Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm hot and skinny. <laughs> fat Ben would come home from work of a daytime and be like, time to sit in my spare room and theory craft and spend three hours testing online. And So, hot tip, if you've been missing a lot of uh, Nolan TCG's content over the last little while, because I lost send weight. him cake. Yeah. Send him cake and donuts and biscuits and lollies, and he'll be uploading those ACG recaps quick as can be. <laughs> Fuck, that's been a while. It has been a while, and I keep bringing it up. I was actually, I like, literally this week I sat down and was like, should I start producing that content again? Yes. Like, I have my Saturdays pretty much free now, so it's like, do I? Like, because it only takes, like, a couple of hours. Or at the very least, I might do, like, deck intros again. Where I like, I yeah, don't know. Look at the stuff coming out in the OC. It's really simple, and I'd love to help you with it. In the meantime, though, more questions. Um, we'll make it work. Yeah. 
Um, so it wasn't in the questions tab, but Wampa asks, is he allowed to activate reinforce in the damage step? What's the answer? Yes. Yeah, because it modulates attack. You know the amount of games that's won me? A lot. So many. Like, opponent just... Bro, I want to I wanna game it like an orange regional because of that. My opponent like went battle phase, swing into preventer. Yeah, he swung in. I think he swung into Preventer with a Kashtira, and then went like. Uh, he swung into Turb with Preventer. Oh, with Kashtira. And then went like effect to banish, and I'm just like, reinforce, protect, it now has more attack, you're dead. Because <laughs> he only had like 800 life left. Oh, and he went like you swing, love to, you love to say effect it. to banish, and like, reinforce, uh, protect, uh, you are dead. Game over. Thank you. Next. You love to say it again. Again, it's Cash of all people, too. No, it wasn't Cash, it was just playing the three Fenry. <laughs> I think oh. I think it was Dragon. Oh, it was just, yeah, I think it was okay. Dragon Link. He was just playing through Fenrir. Yep, that makes sense. I beat Altergast today too. It made me feel so good. He was playing Altergast today, Chad. Chad. Ah, Chadical. I mean, he ended up winning because he pulled two ultis from his two OTS. Packs. He did win. Yes. Yeah. He did win locals. Uh, next question, and I think this is a uh, first time question asker too. Oh. Uh, Frozen Asel I will Google how to pronounce that at some point. Um, but at the moment, I'm going to say Aceline. Aceline. Yeah. Aceline. Welcome. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Uh, yeah, but yeah, welcome to our Discord. Uh, what do you do with decks and cards you don't play anymore, like the Dogmatica deck that I was playing? Uh, do you sell them, store them, swap them, or split them? Um, my answer for that is I keep pretty much every deck I've ever played. Yeah, I have them in binders. Yeah, I've got a cause binder and then anything that doesn't like deserve to be in the cause binder, like my really trash shit, which is a lot, um, ends up in the bulk somewhere and I'll just fish it out if I ever want to play it again. I have three binders. I, I have a binder binders. of good decks and decks I like. Mm -hmm. I have a binder... Fuck, I have so much shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have a binder this, of... <laughs> this entire podcast is just actually an intervention for Ben. I have a binder of... <laughs> he needs of... to make more content, he needs to sell more shit. Yeah. <laughs> Because I used to do weekly... Two, I used to do two deck profiles a week. I know, Ben. Fuck me, that took so much effort. God damn. Welcome to my intervention. So I have one binder of, like, good decks and decks I like. Like, decks I know inside and out. I have another binder of decks I think are cool, but, like... Not that good. Either suck or I've never put in the effort to actually learn them. Mm -hmm. Like, I've bought the deck been like, I fundamentally know how this works. Can I do really well with it? No. Uh, and then a deck of literally the the decks that I was like a binder of the decks that I was like these suck these actively suck <laughs> I've bought them I've tried them no they all sit in the binder and then I have those six by Cross the six more. by uh, <laughs> deck box holders that have so one of them's got like past format decks or like when we were building the decks for the anime oh, yeah. they're all in there and then there's another six by six Jesus. Of like cores that I will switch into and play at any time. So like at the moment I've got Pearly built, Dragon Maids is there. Like decks that I can literally just put staples into and be like, let's go to locals. Yep, yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um but yeah, we I think the last deck that I can remember like actively selling that I had was either invoked after Master Rule came in and made uh wing Wind Witch invoked unplayable. Or yeah. it was the uh what the fuck are they called? Draco Draco? True Draco. That's the word. It's true Dracos. Yeah, Why I had true. Ever consider playing true Draco? So this is uh yeah, back in Jake's past. Um I had um participated in uh regionals down in Nyara, I yep. think it was. And like that was when they were still doing pass downs and I was told at that point that there were enough pass downs that I'd qualified mm. so I was like oh sweet I get to go to Ocean Oceanics in New Zealand Oh no! so I was like well like Master Rule's coming in this deck's not going to cut it um, Draco seems to be doing really well I might buy True Draco see how it goes yep. hated it absolutely hated it and then also didn't get an invite so uh, to spare me the pain of looking at it and thinking, yep, this is the deck that I would have taken if I'd actually gone, I sold it because I didn't find it fun to play. And yeah, it was just not nice to have. Yeah, that checks out. 
So yeah, they were around the same time frame, but those are the only decks that I can remember actively selling. Like Tier Elements somewhere back there. I've still got Dogmatica sitting on my um, table. Fucking Ice Jades, not that anyone would buy them, but my Ice Jades are sitting on my desk at home as well. I've got Invoke sitting in a binder, Mac Knight sitting in a binder. Um, I had BA at some point, but I sold bits of that. Like, I think I sold tool guides and like the original Dante's and stuff I had to other people because like it was just worth money at the time. So I was like, fuck it off. Um, so much of the stuff that I've held into over time is just worthless now. Yeah. But I'm just like, there's just no point in me selling these decks. Yeah, a lot of the decks that I like are probably not worth it. Like, I don't think I'd get good money for Magnites if I tried to sell it now. I'd probably no. get good money for Unchained, but I'm enjoying Unchained. But yeah. it's a very risky time frame. Because if they decide to address Unchained, which I don't know if they I will... I think it's a December ban list. Yeah, but I don't even know if it's worth, like, checking it's in. It's November. To... It is November. We're getting real close to having ban list discussions oh, again. No. My airlift is going to one and a half. <laughs> yep. Shit. Emergency is going to be banned. Actually, if Emergency gets banned, the next unplayable, right? Airlift, it just goes to one. They don't ban Emergency. Are you sure about that? They ain't banning anything in that deck now. Also, airlifted a one probably kills the deck. Airlifted a one kills it. Yeah, you then would definitely have to play Prosp and uh, Small World just to get to it. Mm. Just because it helps so much. <laughs> Does, so it helps so much, but it's not necessary. Like, it's playable without it. Well, it's one card full combo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if you take two of those away, that hurts most decks. <laughs> Fair. It's like I mean, yeah, if they ended up like limiting tour guide again, that would oh, like God. severely limit Unchained. Then it's time to buy the ultis. No. They'd they'd limit it the ultis and go up in price. Darren fucking to you. Oh, hundred percent. If but hope uh, no the star lines are probably still the same. I Do you have a quartzy now? I do have one quartzy, yeah. I picked that up during the week, uh, of the Soul Lord of Yama. Uh planned to put it in the deck today, but didn't bring the deck to put it in. <laughs> Wait, what? I had it in that deck box. A quality of what? Uh, Soul Lord of Yama. No, but what about Tool Guide? No, I didn't get that. Did, when... Was Tool Guide in Rarity Clash? Yeah. So it's got a quartz here. It has got a quartz I didn't get it because um, it was a Saturday when they had released it all. Yep. And I was doing open homes and stuff. Yep. And I didn't want to run the risk of like, oh, I'll wait for like the high rarity stuff to come out on Nikijo and then buy it all at once. And Most then wait for it to release. Sitting there now. I know, probably it's probably still there. But I didn't want to run the risk of like, oh, the cards that I want in high rarity sell out, and then when I go to bump it down to the next rarities, they're also gone. Yeah. So I was like, I'll just get the secrets. The next the stuff rarities that I like. also look like shit. Hmm? The next rarity down also look like shit. <laughs> yeah, but I just I was like, I'll just get the secrets of the cards I like slash want. Yep. That way I've got them there because I'm borrowing quite a few cards at the moment and I really want to not do that. Um, so I'll get those locked in, get those in, give the cards back to people that I'm borrowing and then I can work on upgrading. Which will probably work in my favour, to be honest. Like I might have spent a little bit more on the secret cards that I have than what I might have otherwise paid, but I'll also not have to overpay for the shit cards that I've ordered. We've gone on a huge tangent. Oh yeah, hugely. Um, I just, yeah, I just had the question, realize... yeah, we keep all our decks. <laughs> yeah, we keep everything. I don't even bulk my decks. That's <laughs> Well, that's the thing. If I had I just more... buy more binders. <laughs> <laughs> I... God damn it. <laughs> this really is just an intervention for you. Yeah. Um, our next question uh, comes to us from Smithy46. Well, I feel like he's commented before, but it's been a while. If it's new, if you're new, Smithy, welcome back. Uh, you know, welcome. Uh, what a what... fun. <laughs> what piece of TCG slang makes you cringe the hardest? He's put a suggestion in there, but I'm not going to reveal it yet. What's yours? Um, what piece? Do you... I don't know. Like pop is fine. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm normally fine with a lot of it. And anyone who says anything that I don't like being said, I just uh, tune them out of my life. So, hmm. yeah. If I were to say the word pack to you. Oh, like when he says, what's he say? What's his thing? Goo. Yeah. That's fucking horrible. Yeah. And that was most people's answer. They hated when pack said goo because he's a fucking toss pot. <laughs> I fucking hate him so much. He's such a fucking wanker. 
I remember when he was not great at the game and he was much more tolerable. <laughs> yeah. He is someone that success has definitely made him much worse to listen to. <laughs> yeah. 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 When yeah. he was like all right and then eventually got a top, I was like, good work. Now I'm just like, fuck off. <laughs> Do you see he copied uh, Luke's deck again? No. He's now playing Infernoble. Oh, I see. Can confirm Luke has been on Infernoble for ages and has had high rarity since like the minute it came out. So if Ben ends up doing a profile on it and people comment that same bullshit, oh, it's Pax list. I will fucking kill them. I will personally end their life. Although he's playing some other bullshit engine. I can't remember what it is though. Simple spoils? No. Oh, yes. It's because it's very good in that deck. It does fine anyway. It's... It's full combo. I know, but it does fine without it. It doesn't yeah. need it. That's a deck that I'm surprised I've never picked up. There's probably been multiple points in time where I've had the ability to just have Infernoble. Just, at yeah. every point I've been like, no, nah, I'm good. Oh, as, like, as we discussed not too long ago, you have too many decks. Charles is a rare. I realise that today. It's an ultra rare. Oh, you mean... The, the old Charles, the synchro. That's an ultra. It's got a rare. I mean, yeah, it would have been in the tin. No, it was in like some random set. Oh, we're going to search it, aren't we? It's in the we... binder that I have sitting over there. That's the only reason why I'm like, oh, shit. No, that's this the, is something that one. exists? I didn't even know it was there. So rare Charles was in the tin. 2021 oh, tin. Oh, okay. And then it was a common in OCS 22. <laughs> And an Ultra in Rise of the Doors where it was first released. Jesus Christ. Yeah, nah. Uh, next question. Um, is that a question? Is it a question? Or is it someone Sorry. shit talking pack? I, I don't think it's a question, so I'm going to move on. Is there a question mark at the end, or does it start with the who, what, when, where, how? Uh, the start is wood, and there's no question mark. Okay. Well, what's it say? Oh, no, it is a question. I've. Read it quickly. Uh, would something like a blogger tog, a this, magic I just want to say, these five words sound like a question. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't sure if it was addressing something that was done okay. up above. But uh, the, the above stuff I've worked out was just people should talking pack. Now, what's a blogger tog? Uh, a magic tumbler page where the head designer posts interesting bits about sets and specific cards. Would something like that be interesting or inter something Yu-Gi-Oh players would get something out of? I don't want to frequent Tumblr. I don't want to get put on a list. <laughs> <laughs> um, they kind of already do that. And by they, Wait, I mean... Didn't they shut down Tumblr? For being, no, like, rife with underage pornography? I think they shut down that bit. So now it's just, like, a lot of PG shit. I don't want to Google Tumblr to find out. Yeah. Because I'll probably get put on a list. <laughs> You're very concerned about being put on a list. I'm sorry if I insulted you for frequenting Tumblr, but... No. <laughs> anyway, they... Who was the last of... question, by the way? Tuesday's noob. Tuesday's noob. Get off the list. <laughs> You've been um, around long enough for me to have this serious discussion. <laughs> hey, this is your intervention. Don't deflect. <laughs> Maybe don't frequent Tumblr. Unless it's cleaned up and it's not accessible anymore. Anyway. I just re distinctly remember growing up, if you ever saw anyone comment a Tumblr link, you would not fucking click that. No. Never click the Tumblr link. <laughs> Nope, nope, nope. Uh, but anyway, to answer your question, we do get a lot of those articles come through YGORG of, like, reference art, um, the law books as well. Like, I feel like they do enough of this without, like, a person explaining, oh, yeah, I um, moved mean... the miniskirt up on Dark Magician Girl because Konami told me to. You mean the law book about how pearly are dogs? Yeah, Dog-sized. Still fucking says cats? Dog-sized. Sure. They're just big cats. You know how many... But they're also not cats, they're just monsters. You know how many dog sizes there are? Several. Some dogs are the size of cats. <laughs> <laughs> Some dogs are the size of cats. Others are the size of tigers. <laughs> now I love the idea of like OG Pearly being the size of a tiger and ex Pearly Noir <laughs> being the size of like a pigeon. <laughs> I just realised that uh, Ray being 13 is the reason why it goes on Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> Tumblr. 
Tumblr is a dis disgusting place. Anyway, um, again from... Oh, God, I'm going to butcher this name. I only said it two minutes ago. Frozen Acetylene. Welcome, again. What rarities do you think are the most or least... Oh, do you like the most or least out of the rarity collection? Bottom rarity, ultimate rare. It's just platinums that... It's gold rares that are platinum. Let's go with that. Yes, go with that. Um, they're just gold rares. Um, you said ultra. Do you mean ulti? Yes, that. <laughs> Next print, collector's rares. They were so lazy on those collector's rares. They were literally just like... What if we just collectors read everything? And added some sparkles. Yeah. Like, we collectors read the whole card. Except for its eyes. <laughs> I was like... I don't know. I feel like maybe you just got the wrong collectors rares. I like the ulti collectors like, rares. There I are... mean, sorry. Infinite impermanence collectors rares. There are some that are decent. And others that are fucking horrible. <laughs> um, Understandable. What else was there? Uh, then we're super the rare... QCR. No, then we're... Ultra rare, super rare, secret rare, quarter century. What about the prismatic secret? You know what? Second, that does a second from the top. Second from the top for the prismatic secrets. Maybe that's the secret with a little bit more. Just a little bit more. <laughs> what if we just did the trim? Like, thank you. No more, but thank you. I don't like it on the inside box. I didn't even notice. Wait, the effect box or the actual? The art box. Didn't even notice. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, I only noticed the text box. Yeah. Um, similar rankings, although I put Prismatic, like, well down. I prefer Normal Secret. In fact, when I ordered my uh, Prosps, I went for the Normal Secret as opposed to the Prismatic. Or at least I think I did. We'll find out soon. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> last question comes to us from Arch again. Uh, so, so he's asking us to choose between Door A and Door B. Uh, door A, all Yu-Gi-Oh cards are common and cost one US a card. Let's say, for argument's sake, one Australian. Um, door number two, all cards, one rarity of your choice. Every card has to match, but they are all $10. Which door do you choose? Commons. We're all playing common charity. One dollar a card. Yeah, I think I prefer them all to be common. Like, as much as I like a nice rarity card... Is this a universe where every card is... Like, imagine, yeah, imagine a day where you could walk in, put 200 bucks on a counter, and walk away with, like, up to three decks. That'd be fucking brilliant. It'd be amazing. Sign me up. That would Take me to what is effectively the OCG. <laughs> Jake, we've just openly said we want to be communists. <gasps> oh, God. We have to end. We have to end this podcast.